Credit Union CDFIs working together here, that would be good, wouldn't it? Um, potential for partnership, benefits, challenges, all that kind of thing. There's a workshop this afternoon that hopefully we can tease out an awful lot more. Um, five lamps, we're a CDFI, a responsible lender. Um, we've done 80,000 loans across our portfolio since 2007. Um, mainly personal loans, typically, you know, 52 weeks or less, usually average about £300. Um, we, we don't really advertise because if we did, we couldn't meet the demand. Um, we pick up an awful lot of people that probably could be and should be credit union customers. Um, but we've got some great relationships with credit unions um, in this region and, uh, and further afield. Um, we desperately want to see a stronger, for, for purpose and better um, credit union sector, more entrepreneurial. Um, and I think you know we're seeing the, the beginnings of that you know, in Andy's presentation. Um, you know, we, we see a missed opportunity from back in the financial inclusion growth fund days, where in every one of the seven tenders that DWP made us do to get the kind of regional coverage. We actually said that we wanted to create better links with the advice sector and credit union sector and everything else. Uh, but we were constantly kind of beaten down and told just focus on making loans. You know, we think that was a, a missed opportunity that you know the, the whole sector's not really recovered from yet. But more importantly, we want to see a stronger and fitter for purpose financial inclusion sector. You know, because the, the really important thing is that, you know, we do loans, you know, and we're not you know, we're not about financial inclusion per se, it's the whole sector working together. So we want to see that working much better with real partnerships, you know, real integration with the advice sector, real engagement with community members and educators, you know, and really good relationships with registered social landlords and other landlords and large employers and others. And it's, it's much more than just being about uh, credit. But the challenge for everybody is we've got to kind of start to blur the boundaries between key players. You know, we've got all these kind of islands dotted about. We've got, you know, we, we sent a customer the other week to an advice agency. In the end, they finished up going to three advice agencies and they got about seven different bits of advice out of it. Like they spoke to different people, different things, everything from declare yourself bankrupt and offer a pound a week to some really, you know, really, really helpful um, other advice that, that which eventually they took. So they, they could have they could have declared themselves bankrupt wrongly, done all that kind of thing. We've got to find ways of working together in a coherent financial inclusion setup to make the whole thing work properly for the people who desperately need our support. And that really is a challenge to professions and professionals. You know Let's start to, to kind of see the, the, the holistic picture and not just the, the, the place that you yourself work. But let's look for sustainable and scalable solutions. You know, they're unlikely to be found working in isolation. Um, you know, and we've got a plan beyond that first grant. You know, the number of times I, I, you know, I get involved in something right across the country and invariably we talk about the first grant. Nobody talks about the sustainability. Nobody talks about the real big picture and, the, and the, the benefit and the replication and everything else. We talk about the first grant, you know, and then we talk about grants forevermore, you know, and a whole load of key funders and people who can, can do stuff with us don't want to hear them talk about grants anymore. They want sustainable things, want us to be entrepreneurial and, and, and develop something new. So let's, let's all work together and, and embrace the inevitable risks and think and act like the best bits of the private sector. You know, invest in 21st century technology that we've just seen, you know, that we really need. You know, let, let's not be forced down stuff that we don't really need. It's trying to make us banks or something else. Let's look at stuff that we really need. You know, look at new products and services that customers really need. Create, you know, better access routes for everybody. You know, make instant decisions rather than somebody has to take, you know, a fortnight to get a loan decision or a month to see an advice expert. You know, let's provide that kind of timely support. Let's treat <coughs> customers fairly and embrace the type of regulation, you know, of the FCA. You know, but it all needs to be capitalised. And I'm, I'm so pleased that Damon earlier on mentioned the, the Community Reinvestment Act and the, the opportunities for mainstream banks to do stuff. 
you know, we're just about to see the RBS sell off, and surely 50 million quid out of 42 billion isn't too big an ask. You know, think what we could do as a you know, sector, credit unions and CDFIs together, with that kind of capitalisation behind us. Um, you know, and capital is the biggest barrier to driving the kind of change in scale and impact that we need. You know, everyone in this room, you know, knows that we could do so much more if we had capital available. And even credit unions who've got capital available, you know, you could still do more because you'd change what you do, you could do things differently and, and, and make a difference. And just think, you know, the 35 million that was in the credit union expansion programme had hit the streets instantly. Already we could have done 350,000 new loans. You know, two million, or probably more than two million over 10 years. You know, rather than trying to set up, you know, uh, some kind of banking platform and it might never work. You know, there are some great things happening around the country um, that I'm, I'd like to expand on in the session this afternoon. But, you know, when you look at what's happening in Bristol with the Community Economic Development Partnership, it's got a whole array of partners working together, including the CDFIs, Bristol Credit Union. The Community Finance Partnership in East London it involves fair finance. that's drawn together a lot of pooled expertise to create a kind of hub for innovation. You know, from a Five Lamps point of view, we're involved in Sheffield Money, which is a, a city-wide initiative which came out of a fairness commission in the city. Um, you know, where a whole lot of people want Sheffield to be the fairest city in Britain. Um, you know, it's got a whole load of partners in there that are, that are the right people. The model, you know, it seems to work. People coming together, we're beginning to see the, the kind of the energy behind it. We've got, you know, the shop, Sheffield Money Shop opened in the centre of Sheffield. And that's a model that I think has got huge potential in terms of replicability. And that might be the kind of initiative that finally brings big society capital to the table in terms of um, doing something meaningful um, in, a, in our sector. We're also involved in a lot of work with local authorities, you know, in, in the north of England and beyond, who again are looking at sustainable models. You know, and many of them, and I'm not just saying this because I'm here, many of them are fed up in working with credit unions and advice agencies who are looking at grants all the time. You know, they want to see they want to see something sustainable. They haven't got the money to put the grants anymore, so let's build some new models and let's look at being really flexible in what we do. You know, we're also working on a, involved in an a, a affordable lending portal pilot that came out from what the cabinet office are doing, where there are seven community lenders engaged, three CDFIs and four um, um, large credit unions. So there's an awful lot going on, and there's some real opportunities for brilliant win win partnerships, not just in the northeast but across the country. Um, and I really urge people um, in the credit union sector to seek out you know, partners in the CDFI sector. There's not that many of us. But we'd certainly be willing to talk and we think there's some real opportunities for great things to be done. Thank you.